Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word, and we are in Proverbs chapter 16. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, sections, as we would call it, Proverbs 16. There are many little uh, spots, little, I, was, I would call them nuggets um, of wisdom, um, and these are some of the Proverbs that I have memorized just because they are easily inserted into life. Like, like take a look at Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. In his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Really speaking towards um, the, the reality of how much we're in control and how much the Lord is in control. <laughs> um, we always kind of misunderstand how much we're in control. We, we plot our path but the Lord establishes the steps. And so uh, we might think that this is the way we should go. <clears throat> and the Lord says, this is the way I'd like you to go. And so it always runs across that in life. And that's why I love Proverbs 16. It gives us this path. It gives us this journey um, that the Lord is before us. The Lord is paving out that path. So Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. To man belongs the plans of the heart. But from the Lord comes the reply of the tongue. All a man's ways seem innocent to him, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. The Lord works out everything for his own ends, even the wicked for a day of disaster. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this they will not go unpunished. Through love and faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Through the fear of the Lord, a man avoids evil. When a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he makes even his enemies live at peace with him. Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. The lips of a king speak it as an oracle, and his mouth should not betray justice. Honest scales and balances are from the Lord. All the weights in the bag are of his making. Kings detest wrongdoing, for a throne is established through righteousness. Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value a man who speaks the truth. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, but a wise man will appease it. When a king's face brightens, it means life. His favor is like a rain cloud in spring. As you can see, we've done that transition uh, right about 1610 in to talk about um, a king's way of wise living. Verse 16, it says, How much better to get wisdom than gold, to choose understanding rather than silver. The highway of the upright avoids evil. He who guards his way guards his life. Pride, before, pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit before a fall. Better be lowly in spirit and among the oppressed than to share plunder with the proud. Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. The wise in heart are called discerning, and pleasant words promote instruction. Understanding is a fountain of life to those who have it, but folly brings punishment to fools. A wise man's heart guides his mouth, and his lips promote instruction. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. There is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. The laborer's appetite works for him. His hunger drives him on. A scoundrel plots evil, and his speech is like a scorching fire. A perverse man stirs up dissension, and a gossip separates close friends. A violent man entices his neighbor and leads him down a path that is not good. He who winks with his eye is plotting perversity. He who per uh, purses his lips is bent on evil. 
Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained by a righteous life. Better a patient man than a warrior, a man who controls his temper than one who takes a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. So as I said, um, liking uh, these places, these proverbs, these um, sayings throughout chapter 16, um, especially gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained of a righteous life. I'm, I'm getting there. I appreciate the Proverbs of affirming that um, in me and maybe perhaps you. Um, but then it just continues. I love this last part. The lot is cast into the lap, but it's every decision is from the Lord. It seems like a chance. It seems like the way. It seems, but the Lord has his hand in the way. It's not chance. It's his purpose. And so how beautiful it is is... As we walk, um, many times we make decisions and discernments in our walk of life. And we say, well, I'll, I'll try this. But it isn't a try. It is an angle that God is going to use. It is a decision that God is going to use to be able to have you in the trajectory of your life. Whether you're walking down the path of yourself and he'll redirect that or walking down the path of what the Lord has in store and he will bless that. He will prosper that. He will bring that actually to the way of righteousness. The Lord is before you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is leading you. The Lord is establishing your steps. That's why I love these Proverbs. <laughs> um, because it just gives us a great command. It gives us a great uh, understanding. It gives us a great promise. God is before us. And to that, we say, thanks be to God.